Hey guys, it's me. Welcome to my channel. My name is Desiree Marie. Welcome to all my crew members who are called my subbies and welcome to you if you are watching this video, this channel and seeing my face for the very first time. Just to introduce myself, reintroduce myself. My name is Desiree Marie and I do all sorts of videos. I do lock hair styling videos, lock hair care videos, daily vlogging videos. And in this video, um, I am doing an apartment decor video. So, yes, I've been here for an entire year and I have not decorated my apartment the way that I wanted to since I moved here. So, I thought that I would start in the bedroom and revamp everything. I mean, everything. Everything in there is not my taste. But today, we're going to get down and dirty and start redecorating it completely from the headboard to the 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 wall art we're gonna get down and dirty and figure things out together it's a cool vlog style video so definitely get your popcorn get your wine get your whatever you need to cool down i hope that you enjoy this video definitely subscribe if you're not subscribed and without further ado let's get on to the next clip <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is sand. There's a little sand sponge. Um, sand the rough spots. This is a pretty smooth iron headboard. Um, so, I'm sure there's not much to sand, but I'll find something. By the way guys, this is a headboard I found on the curbside. I was walking one um, evening after work, walking towards my building, and this was propped up so neatly on the side. So, I, I made a double take, like wait a minute, what? That looks good. I mean, of course it has its own rough patches, but it looks like a good headboard, and it was just, propped up against the dumpster area. It wasn't even in the dump. No, actually, yeah, it wasn't, it was, it, it was a little, it was on the outside of the dumpster area, but it was to be taken out. So I looked at it and I was like, you know what, this might be good. And it might just fit my bed. So, um, lo and behold, I have this here. And it is a little bit bigger than my bed. It's actually meant for a queen size bed and I have a full size bed. I actually thought that the two were the same, but they aren't. But, you know, it's a free headboard. Whereas I could be spending like hundreds of dollars on a new one. Here I have this perfectly put together headboard that I can DIY. So, and I was actually thinking to um, DIY a headboard from my mom's house, but they never gave up the headboard. So God allowed me to see this so that I can do it. Um, I can do my thing, work my magic, and make it work without having to pay. So, and you guys know these things, like if you have been watching me for a while, you know that when I first moved here, I found a lot of things for my apartment. I didn't have to spend a whole lot of money at all. I had a list of all the things that I needed for my apartment, but it was like God was like showing me different things like, hey, look at that. <laughs> you know, my, my TV stand, I didn't have to pay one cent. I found the TV stand. I've been saying I was gonna DIY this thing, but you know, that's gonna, that's gonna come. You know, that, that time will come. Um, I'm still trying to do some research on how to get that you know cleaned up and stuff but right now it's fine I'm just saying you know don't underestimate things that you might find on the curve side you know if you have a little skill check out Pinterest look at a lot of YouTube videos you can make it work for yourself so yeah I think I'm pretty much done standing I've never done this before you could probably tell <laughs> Like, it was a struggle even finding this and the primer in the middle of Home Depot. 
a place that I always looked at sideways. I used to hate Home Depot. Anytime my mom would bring me to Home Depot, I would dread it. It felt like hell. <laughs> felt like punishment to young children. Okay, so now I'm going to get my primer. Rust-Oleum primer. And this is supposed to spray it white. All right, here goes nothing. All right, so to open it, it says squeeze and pull. As you can hear, Twinkie is in the room because I do not want her to get um, in contact with any, any of these fumes. If you read the labels, um, they always tell you to keep this away from small children and pets, and that's what I'm doing. All right, there, I think I'll start from the side. Let's just pick you guys up. So, I had to leave and cover my hair because I realized, wait a minute, all of these like free radicals flowing all over the place and my hair is not protected, so we can't have that. I went and covered my head and um, put on the fan and the fan helped the rail to dry a lot quicker. So, now that it is about 30 minutes later, it said that I should wait like, how long? Nearly an hour, but we sped up the process by putting on the fan. So now I'm gonna go in and do the other side. And Twinkie is still mad, but she is not coming in here. She just wants to be mad. This is the second side. I'm so sorry that this is not visually pleasing as I would like for it to be, but you know, we're getting somewhere. Little by little. And while I have a little bit left, um, a little bit of primer left, I'll just go ahead and continue spraying this um, flat base. Alright guys, ooh, why are we so zoomed in? <laughs> but anyway, now the fun part. Um, now that the white, uh, what do you call it, primer is dry, I am going to take my first can of metallic finish um, spray and start spraying it gold. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, let's start together over here. 
the head. So this I spray just the same way? Or do I spray it in spirits? Same way. Same way? You don't okay. want to leave it a flower. Okay. Ooh, I love it already! Don't be too close, don't be too close. Okay. You right in there, baby? You can't come out there, sweetie. Sorry. No, let me go. No. Okay. You see that? <laughs> you misbehaving for the camera. Go back in there, baby. Let me give you a treat so you can be happy. <laughs> the things we have to do for pets to keep them happy. Here you go, sweetie. Yes. No, no, no. Don't go by that door. <laughs> See you soon, baby. We are going to now get on into the nitty gritty details. Yesterday you saw me spray paint the headboard that I found. Yes, I spray painted it and it now looks so perfect. It's so beautiful. But now we're just going to fast forward and move into the comforter. We're going to flip the sheets um, and really just redecorate the bed. That is a great way of um, flipping the style of the room um flipping the sheets and getting just new home decor for the bed so that's what you're gonna see me do right now um and yeah i hope that you enjoy the rest of the video So here's something cool that I just discovered. You know these old, big old, like rusty pillows that I have? I've been looking for a way to cover them. And here I have the perfect solution. The big Euro shams fit perfectly over them. So I don't have to get extra pillows. I just simply cover the ones that I have here.
I was a little concerned that it wouldn't fit, but it fits so perfectly. Wow. That is what I got so far. Next step, trick the pet. <laughs> come on, baby, come on. Come on, sweetie. Here you go, sweetie. Okay, good girl. Stay right there, booby. I love you. I'll see you soon. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so I am using this old shower liner. <laughs> And I'm going to lay out these um, curtain rods as well as my mirror right here. Now this, I know I'm going to have to um, block out the mirror part. Oh God, there goes Twinkie barking. But I'm gonna have to find a way to kind of like cover the mirror reflection so that the spray does not get onto that. So I think I'm gonna look um, and find a cardboard piece, cut it, um, maybe tape it or whatever I can do, and then get started. Well, goody, I found a piece of cardboard on the side here. This closet is so junky. I've been saying for a while that I would come in here and organize. This might be the day to do it, but right now I just want this. <laughs> so let me try to find a way to kind of like get it without causing everything to tumble over. I'm being really lazy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm being really lazy, I know. There we go. Oh, success. All right, <laughs> so now I'm going to get my scissors and cut out a piece that is perfect enough to sit right on top of that mirror. Yeah. So found my tape. So the curtains that I'm going to be putting in the bedroom put that right there but I also have two full cans of metallic gold spray paint ah oh, this is gold literally <laughs>
Ooh la la, look at that. So I'm gonna let that dry while I get started on this mirror. Excited, I love it. So I found the perfect thing and it is the plastic that actually came with the curtains that I'm going to be installing today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on top to just give it that extra insulation so that it does not touch the floor. All right, cool. Now let's get started. It is um, finished sprayed on one side. Now when this is um, all dried off, obviously I'm gonna turn it over and try to get into the nooks. Or I may not even turn it over. I may just go in and look at the different spots that are um, still untouched. As of right now, I don't see any spots that are untouched everything seems to be okay oh actually I do see like right underneath you can still see the original color so definitely gonna go ahead and like finish that but I did not oh my gosh oh good well somewhat I somewhat got the mirror but that's okay because I'm going to spray the mirror um, you know, th those things happen. It happens. No matter how careful you are, they happen. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and like clean off the mirror. But it's not so bad. Okay, I'm just going to leave it alone right now. Let it dry. Put on the fan and all of that stuff. Let these things dry. And I'll give it like maybe 15-20 minutes. So while I'm drying the... Um, metal pieces I'm just gonna go ahead and begin ironing this where Twinkie is hey Twinkie <laughs> I know you're not so happy with me because I have you in here it's all right baby so here is what it looks like out of the pack um, I know what my last curtain set um, my mom told me that I had to iron it so with this one I'm sure it's the same because it has this like sharp pleat and it's supposed to be pretty much flat and seamless so I'm just gonna grab the iron and go ahead and just start lightly ironing this um, in hopes that I don't ruin it uh. I've been texting my mom all morning about <laughs> DIY project and she's like wow great that should keep your mind busy <laughs>
All right, so we got two out of four done, but I think a whole half an hour has passed by, so we're just gonna go and check up on the metal pieces. <laughs> I have two fans going on right now. All right, so let's see. What time is it anyway? Let me just check the time first of all. 10:27. She said it looks plain, but I guess the pillows were spruce it. If you put it in the dryer. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Mom's old good old advice. <laughs> that's true. Um, she's talking about the bed comforter. <laughs> Cuz it looks a little wrinkly. Let me just face forward. Yeah, the bed comforter looks a little wrinkly. Um, and I did not want to iron it because I felt like that would ruin it Like I just have bad luck with iron sometimes when I'm super careful It decides that it wants to burn right through the material. So my mom said that I should put it in the dryer uh, Wrinkle free and all the wrinkles will come out which is an excellent idea. I think I will do that tomorrow but first thing first we're um, you know getting this done yeah, there's just so much to do, and I'm really excited. It's a whole lot of fun. All right, so checking back on this. And it is dry. It is dry. So what I'm going to do is, um, I guess what I can do is lift it. Yeah, lift it up. And just check it out. Um, you know, this side doesn't really matter because this side is going to be on the wall anyway. Um, but I just want to get in these little crevices and cracks, if you could see that. The little nooks and cracks. Yeah, look at that quality. I love this camera. You got the little cracks and crevices. Um, obviously you're not going to see this anyway because this thing is going to be like hanging up anyway. So, I'm wondering, does it make sense to go ahead and spray it? I'm going to do it anyway because I want to do it and make it look excellent. Not just done, but excellent. And now looking at these curtain rods. My mom was like, what is that? <laughs> I took a picture and showed her. Ooh. Yeah, okay. So one side is definitely dry. What I'm going to do is just roll it over to the other side. The side that is not yet done. and get started on that side um so you know what i'm gonna remove this for now let it lean up on like this because that side is is not wet and just go in and spray this stuff up Alright, so I leaned this up because I do have some spots like that are wet and I don't want it to um, be compromised if I lay it down there. So I'm just going to put on the fan again, wait another half an hour, and it should be all done. Uh, 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 uh. No, go back, go, uh, 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 uh. go back in there. Uh, uh, uh. Why do you, why are you so disobedient? Go in that, back in the room, please. Jeez. <laughs> Bloopers. I'm gonna record a cool looking video. And here you come acting like a rascal.
probably should have put like tape on the inside, like the spot that is very close to where I was spray painting. But hey, I can get that off easily. TV out the way. Ooh, it looks so cute. All right, so these uh, curtain rods are all finished. in there just make sure that these go together before doing it okay cool awesome starting to look good. I just have to kind of shuffle it a little bit better. Very cool. You know, as I'm thinking about it, I probably only needed to spray paint the sections that are actually exposed as opposed to like the, the entire length of the, um, what is that? The entire length of the rod. Ooh, I think that's a little bit of spray. But I love how it looks. It's a very nice semi-sheer um material and it makes the room look very much brighter and lighter um yeah i like it so far very cute gosh that's so beautiful I love it all right guys so the next task is putting this up on the wall if you guys have seen any of my previous videos well months ago I it was such a task to get that big heavy picture up on the wall in my living room and I'm gonna try this one this is not as heavy as the other one that I put up so this should be a whole lot easier. I have a little bit of experience as I did hang up the last one. So I did look up some YouTube videos just to ensure that I know everything there is to know. <laughs> I'm not out here looking crazy doing things on the first whim. So we're just gonna try this thing out together. Hopefully you get it right the first time. And I got this picture frame, or uh, the picture for $14.99 at my local discount store. This does have hooks in the back here. Um, it comes with these like ragged hooks. So this would be the point by which the picture hangs. So I had to consult YouTube just to figure this thing out. Um, don't act like you don't do that too, all right? <laughs> Let's check this one out. Make sure that we do this the right way. Hi, I'm Liette from Under the Roof Decorating. In this 60 second decorating tip, I'll show you how to add a sawtooth hook to a picture frame. Now you can hang your picture wherever you choose. I'll just put a 
like a screw in the wall. Okay. You know, they make this look so easy and then you do it and then it does not, it's not easy. But we're going to do this thing together. I do have my handy dandy <laughs> screwdriver. Even, even Twinkie's looking at me like, girl, you better get this thing right. You better get this thing right. And I have my picture screws right here. So what I'm going to do first is drill. First I'm going to measure, right? And how I'm going to get it into the wall is drill the hole, um, the two holes, because there's two like of these zigzaggy thingies right here, here, and here. So I'm going to um, drill a hole. And then I'm going just small hole where the stud is I guess I have to find the stud in the wall with my stud finder <laughs> I am equipped this time and then I'm going to um, change the bit I learned this thing on YouTube as well it is called the bit I'm going to change the bit to this Phillips head uh, screw and then use it to go ahead oh yeah go ahead and screw this into the wall so pray for me guys pray 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 hard <laughs> meanwhile in twinkie's world she's just waiting for the stuff to start <laughs> she's waiting for the action to start all right let's just get on to this the hook rests right really pen really you don't want to work it rests right here which is about eight and three quarters of course I have to get something that actually works when my cameras are on so that's one And in the middle here, is 21 and a half. But overall, the entire picture is 30 inches. So I'm just going to write that right here. I mean, not 30 inches. Yeah, 30 inches. Inches. Just a little close-up of what I did. <laughs> I, um measured from the center of each of these hooks and put a little arrow there measured it and put 30 inches wide and so now I'm going to just put it up um uh, well take the measuring tape put it up on the wall and um figure this thing out <laughs> so I had to go and switch the um screwdriver screw thingy because this one would have been a little too wide but this one I think will be just right for me to start the drill and for this one to just go in and finish so we'll just see how that works out if not I'll replace it with this but it's better to start with smaller than with something big that leaves a big hole in the wall and the and this is absolutely no use or value so and I and I don't have a ladder but I do have my handy dandy chair 
So I'm gonna have to slide this whole entire bed back so that we don't make a mess. So let me just take up all my cutesy things here. All right. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna find the studs and drill the hole. So hopefully the studs are right where I place the the um, little dots. Uh, where are the dots? The dots are right here. So. All right, right there, perfect. That's always the, the stuff I'm forgetting. Is it level? Kind of late to tell that right now. I should have put it down here. All right, so the hole, I tried to push this into the hole, but lo and behold, the um, the screw that I was using was too small. So that's even better. I can just go in and use this one to make it a little bigger so that I can push this straight through the hole and then screw it in. All right. of the bed oh, I'm so proud of myself so I do have two other um, pictures that I was thinking about hanging on both sides I was thinking about hanging this one here and the other one on the other side I'm not quite sure about that I might just leave that be and kind of hang these at different parts of the room I think that might be the best thing to do. Oh, but it looks so great. I'm so satisfied. Awesome. Good morning, guys. So guys, God is such a cool guy. He just like slapped me up the head with like this cool idea. I was looking at the um, curtains and thinking, well, I'm really going to have to get like a, a tie. But I remembered that I have material right here. So what I'm going to do is cut the material. Ooh. Hopefully you guys can see. Cut the material. You know, it doesn't have to be super perfect. Just cut it. And I can make my own little ties in whatever way 
I'd like just roll up the edges so nobody sees that I cut it with a scissor and tie it back like this and it would be nice to get like some kind of like little some kind of like cool little beads or something to put on the the ends um, but that's good for now and it matches very well with the color scheme so I'm gonna cut another one put it on the other side on the other uh, <laughs> panel and do the same on the other side of my room right there <laughs> so now with this area I found out what I want to do I want to line up a few of my nice colorful uh, books that I have I'd like to just kind of line those up the books that mean most of course the Bible will have to be in there um, what you gonna do? These books that really mean a whole lot to me. I want to make sure to have it all lined up right there. I think that's such a cute little way to use that area. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm thinking about putting it up there, but I'm not 100% sure. Like right up top there. It might look awkward because the other side does not have anything so I'm just gonna leave it alone for now I would have really liked to put it up here but mm, because you can see it from the outside the back of the picture frame if I put it up on the windowsill that doesn't really look 100% cute what I'm gonna do for this windowsill is get some plants and just have some plants right there kind of give a nice little ambiance you know <laughs> nice look and feel of this area it's like I guess this is considered like a little reading nook yeah Okay guys, so that is my entire bedroom revamp. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you were inspired and kind of laughed a little bit. You already know my life is a blooper anyway. But anyway guys, I hope that you enjoyed. Um, I'm so pleased with the outcome of this room. Everything looks perfect just how I want it. Just a few little tiny touches that I want to change up a little bit but right now it looks just how I want it I'm so happy with the outcome so guys I hope that you enjoyed the video thumbs up the video if you liked it subscribe if you're not because I'll be coming back with more videos like this the next project will be my living room <laughs> um yeah subscribe if you're not subscribed and yeah hope to see you in the next video bye